Chile Unico, the Spanish word for Chile unique. Let's go talk about what's unique about Chile today. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. It's so great to be back with you here on the Gringo Channel. I mean, my YouTube channel, where we get to do whatever we want to do. Because that's, uh, that's fun, right? A couple of weeks ago we were talking about my friend who walked around with a stick to find water. We've talked about the bread of Chile. We've talked about some foods and culture. And really the theme is, things that are completely unique to Chile. So today we're going to be talking about another thing that at least I think is completely unique to Chile. And you have to practice speaking their language. So we're gonna practice that today. And today, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button before we start. But let me teach you our first word today in the language that we're going to be talking today from the people that I want to be. Here we go. You ready for your first word? This is hello in, uh, in Waso. That's, uh, you know, hello in Waso. So you've just learned your, your first word in the language that we're going to be talking about today. We're talking about Wasos. <laughs> and Wasos are so, so unique to Chile, I think. Because in the United States, I rarely see somebody riding a horse down the road. But if you're to go outside of the city, and I hope you're not watching from boring Santiago, but uh, you know, if you were to leave Santiago and experience what I think is the real Chile, and that's the campo life, you go outside of Linares, where I'm at right now, and I bet you could drive for 20 minutes and you would find a waso. A waso is basically a cowboy, somebody who is riding on the horse, who lives in the campo area, who lives off of riding his horse to different places instead of his car. A lot of people here that are wasos, they do have a car as well. But really, the mode of transportation for somebody living outside of the city is going to be a horse. And I think that's a beautiful thing about living here in Chile, and for me especially, living outside of a big city. In Santiago, Vina del Mar, Concepcion, bigger cities, you're not really going to experience what Chile really is, in my opinion. If you were to come to live in another country, to me, I want to experience that country. And to me, going outside of, of the city area, going to the campo, seeing people riding on horses, that's a part of the culture here in Chile. That's something truly unique to Chile. And I hope that you've seen this before. To me, it's so beautiful because Moses gets to grow up with people riding horseback being a normal thing. A couple of weeks ago, I got to go on a horseback ride for days in the mountains. And for some people here in Chile, especially around Linares, that's a normal thing. To be able to go by horseback or know somebody who has a horse and you can do something like that is very, very rare in the United States. But here in Linares, I know quite a few people who have horses. When I taught in the schools, some of my students would arrive by horseback to the school. When, I, that's crazy by itself, but a field trip that I had for pre-kinder, these little kids, was to invite me and the other little kids to a house that was right across the street from where the school was and ride horseback. Just get on the horse and ride horseback. That was a field trip. And I think that's so, so beautiful. And I wish that I had that when I was a kid in learning how to ride horseback. It's so cool. And it's such a big piece of the culture here in Chile. I mean, like I said, some of my kids would arrive to the school in the campo, of course, by horseback. That's so amazing and something that's truly unique, I think, to Chile. And I think that for me, if you live in Santiago, if you live in a big city, that maybe you don't like this at all, that's why you're in a big city, that's fine. But for me, I think that's something that 
That's why I'm here, is to experience the culture, to see this, and not only just to see it and wave and kind of take pictures and things like that as you go by, but also to actually experience, to talk with them. And typically they'll invite me to try and ride the horse or they'll invite me to a delicious homemade pan amasado, which is amazing. So, so good with some freshly made mantequilla butter. There's nothing that gets any better than that. It's so, so good. And the experiences, the simple life, I love that. I, if you've been following me for a while, you understand that my channel is all about bringing to life some of the simple things, some of the things that maybe we take for granted here in Chile, because I think that there's something truly unique and beautiful about Chile. So this one right here, today's topic is the cowboy. I think it's something truly unique, truly special, but especially during one time of the year. During the 18 celebrations, being a Waso is just like the best thing in the world. It doesn't matter anybody else in the world. If you're a part of the parade for 18, that is a big deal. You get to ride in with your horse, you get to wear your cool manta, all these colors, and it's so beautiful. It's something so cool. So I hope that you think the same thing. I hope that you've experienced the actual culture here in Chile and seeing these wassos, seeing these people by horseback going around and uh, I, I feel like that is Chile. We've been on stage one for a very long time. We just went on to stage two here in, in Linares not long ago and it's so nice. I can finally experience Chile and it's a, it's a beautiful thing to experience Chile for the first time. I mean, not the first time, but it's been a long time that we were on phase one. So to be able to go out to experience what is Chile is, uh, is something truly amazing. So I hope that you uh, enjoyed this video and I hope that uh, you enjoy experiencing Chile if you're able to right now. I know it's so hard right now. We're going to phase one, I guarantee it, very soon, but we're enjoying this phase two while we can for the couple of weeks that I'm sure we'll have it. But a lot of animo to you wherever you are watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, hit the bell button, and uh, you know, while you're at it, throw a little comment below and we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. How do you say goodbye in Waso? It's uh, Yay! something like that. <laughs> so from here in Linares, to you, wherever you are, I hope that you get to experience Chile again. I hope I do too, and I can go and see people riding by horseback. But we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. And for now, yay! That means, uh, ciao, Pascal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ciao, Pascal. Yay! <laughs>